Welcome back to the channel guys and today we are going to be continuing looking at bearings. Now by the end of the video you should be able to understand how to find a location using bearings with the idea of to and fro. So we're looking at how to go to a place and how to calculate or how to locate bearings from a place. And also by the end you should be able to find a bearing accurately. We've been working on it from the last video and by the end of this one you should be able to have that skill down path. So let's go at finding bearings to and from. And this can be applied to direction and other areas of my work. Alright, so for the example that we have here, we are trying to find the bearing of A from B. And we know that from this side, it says from B that B is our starting point. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to draw, draw a line from B, or arrow rather, from B to A. So we'll take our protractor, we'll start here at B. We realize that obviously it's to the left or to the western side. Then we flip our protractor and then we realize we get our location. And from there, we will realize that we have the bearing from B. We have the location of A from B. Example, what we're going to do, we're going to give the bearing C to D. So our starting point here is C. And the point we are trying to locate is D. So we start at C. And we just come right over to D. The arrow. And this way you will give your bearing starting at C. Place your protractor on C. You'll give your bearing and you write that in degrees and there is your answer. And this completes how we find locations from and to. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to find the bearing of the airport from the hospital. So we're going to start by placing our protractor across here in the middle of the hospital building. And we're trying to find that plus sign that is here at the airport. So what we're going to do then, we can take our ruler to give us a bit of assistance. We try to line it up as correctly as possible. And what we have here is, we can see here, we're going in a clockwise direction. Try not to move your protractor like I did. We see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And that is about 72, 1, 2. So there you have it. You have 71, sorry, 72 degrees. And that is the correct answer. Okay, so we're going to try to find the bearing of the church from the school. So the church is here, the school is here. Okay, so we line up our protractor correctly, but you realize that it only goes to 180 degrees. Now, if you realize you add 180 to 180, you'll get 360. So how do we accomplish this? So we, like what we did before, we flip the protractor. So now you have a 180 degrees, on this side, which gives you a total of 360. So what we do now is we continue counting from zero to 180 and finding the church. Try to find it, try to line it up. All right, so we continue, this is 90, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. What we have here is about 283 degrees. And that is our answer. 